hello guys uh, welcome back uh, in this video we will see how to color the text or any content of the layer for example if i have got uh, a layer and i have painted it with something okay and and uh, i just want to change the color of this so i would uh, use uh, this effect uh, in the layers panel called color overlay and also you can use gradient overlay to give a gradient uh, uh, effect in the color so uh, in layer style the first option i would like to talk is color overlay and uh, if i just open up you could able to see uh, there are different uh, uh, types of uh, layer styles we have and this is our color overlay and um, i'm just selecting this and uh, just if i click it okay uh, i get the color picker and then i can pick any color i just wanted here and uh, let's say uh, you have uh, the blending mode and uh, what that generally does is uh, if this um, layer has got some texture let's say okay i've got some texture here i'm just uh, um, selecting that layer and then just go to the color overlay you should be able to see the uh, the overall color is a uh, flat green which i have picked here and uh, let's say if i have picked something else and then change the blending mode you should be able to see the colors are like blending with the previous texture what we have so you can explore different types of blending modes and get uh, suitable results uh, or effects to your existing um, texture okay so that's how the blending mode generally used and also we have opacity just you can add a tint of color on top of it just by increasing the opacity slider like that and then we have uh, this option here make default and reset to default so if i click this button the color settings or maybe if i have chosen this blending mode and i have picked this opacity and when i click it next time when i just open up the layer style for color overlay you get these settings as the default settings then we have the reset default option here when i click that you get the factory default settings for uh, uh, the color overlay option so let's say if i have picked a color and then i have changed the blending mode to multiply with some opacity and when i say okay i can right click and copy the layer style and then come here and then right click again for the new layer and then paste the layer uh, effect so you have that color added i mean whatever the layer style we have added here has been pasted to the text layer uh, which is on the top okay so i am going to <coughs> switch off that and say okay now we have uh, uh the other effect uh, other layer style here that is gradient overlay so i'm going to double click on this layer that brings up the layer style and then i just click gradient overlay option and uh, very similarly we have uh, the blending mode here which you can choose uh, on top of it okay so you should able to see i have actually taken white to black gradient but it is showing red to black because i have put the blending mode to multiply if i choose to screen it becomes white to red so the black has been became transparent based on the blending options so we have uh, at the dither option which is basically used to um, avoid the banding effect in the gradiency then uh, in gradients you uh, it is as uh, good as uh, dealing with the gradient tool uh, here in the uh, in the tool box so i have uh, made a tutorial on how to use a gradient so you can uh, follow that video to explore more about the gradiency okay 
and uh, let me come back to the gradient overlay and then you have lot of gradient styles which you can pick from okay and then uh, you have a type of gradients which are like a radial type or angle type you can use all that stuff and uh, right now you should able to see the gradient uh, the pink is on the top and the white is on the bottom so if I click the reverse it happens the opposite side and uh, we also have this feature here called align with layer so I'll switch this option off and then say ok then when I move this layer you should able to see when I move this uh, when I move this layer down it's completely pink when I move it up it's becoming white because the gradient is uh, stretched over the canvas so if I just say align with the layer option on when I move it down the gradient sticks with the text itself uh, so we have uh, the angle of this uh, gradient so it's uh, that way and then we have the scale option also you can uh, scale the gradiency and uh, we have a reset alignment which is basically uh, <coughs> when we are actually uh, let's say when I'm just applying this uh, gradient overlay this will generally uh, repositions the alignment uh, let's say if I've, I've got this uh, uh, <coughs> uh, ramp with the gradient he placed on this text is uh, this way let's say if I'm just uh, I'm, I'm just uh, changing the gradient of it just uh, just I'm holding click and drag there and then when I just click this reset it generally goes back to the original place so it's resetting the gradiency what we have actually achieved here okay uh, so that's reset alignment then we have the scale and we have these two options which are make default and reset uh, the ramp options so the other thing about these two um, layer styles is I can click and uh, add the gradiency um, and you know it uh, it comes up up to how many times 10 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so you got 10 times here and uh, you can put 10 different types of gradients here on top of it and um, uh, we can uh, delete them as well you can select uh, the trash button here and we can delete the layer styles let's say if you have deleted the last one also then you can go down here and then bring it back so uh, what we will do is we just put this here and then we will choose a gradient see there okay so I'm going to select a, a gray color which is going to be here and then we have another gray here so I'll just start uh, Okay, I'm just placing that way and we have uh, the angle I'm just putting it to 180 so I got this nice re angle here okay so I just wanted to add that extra detail to this so this is where my second gradient uh, comes into the picture so sec I've selected the second one and I'm putting the gradient C to um, you know angle to 90 and I'm going to uh, choose this one and make it bright and uh, these uh, other sides um, I'm going to select the opacity of that and then reduce that gradiency opacity there and the middle one I'm going to put a high opacity so the center is strong so I would show you the uh, difference here so one layer is like
so i purposefully taken the colors for you to see i have got one gradient which is basically having this gray to red and then another gradient is yellow with transparent on both sides you can choose the radial and then you can maybe move it that side and you should able to see that sitting in the center there okay you can also scale it and then you can place it so you can put as many as gradients on top of it so that's uh, the gradient and color overlay does it uh, you can overlay these two effects to the content of the layer no matter whether it is the text or image or anything in that matter and it should be basically the pixels